everyone, I'm Dr. Peach Sapramai. I am a family medicine physician here at Holy Cross, or also known as your primary care provider. And my primary goal is preventative medicine, such as screening for your cholesterol, blood pressure, diabetes, things that can be prevented in the future. Today I want to talk to you specifically about hyperlipidemia or elevated cholesterol level. Hyperlipidemia is when you have high levels of fats in your blood like cholesterol, triglycerides, and these fats can build up in your arteries. Think of your arteries as highways to your body. When they get clogged with too much fat, it's like a traffic jam and your heart has to work harder to pump the blood through those traffic jams. And over time, this can lead to serious health problems like heart disease, heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral artery disease. Now let's talk about what can cause hyperlipidemia. It can be influenced by numerous things, such as what you eat, how active you are, and even your family history. So first, let's talk about your cholesterol levels. There's three primary parameters um, that defines hyperlipidemia. That's increase in uh, LDL greater than 100, HDL less than 50, or triglycerides greater than 150. So some lifestyle modifications you can do is a diet low in cholesterol, trans fat, and carbohydrates, and you can also exercise. Now, if lifestyle modifications are not enough, we can do medications that help lower it, such as the statin. And statins are a first line medication because they work by blocking substances in your liver needed to make cholesterol. Other options include bioacids, sequestrins, phenofibrates, and PCSK9 inhibitors. If you have risk of heart disease, like you have coronary artery disease, strokes, we can even do a CT calcium score to see if you have any calcified plaques in your arteries. If that's the case, then we can put you on what's called the PCSK9 inhibitors. Those are great for reducing the LDL levels and that will reduce your risk of heart disease as well and get you to that goal of less than 50. A lot of times you don't have symptoms until it's too late. And as my goal and a lot of physicians goal is to prevent things from happening. So we don't want you to have a stroke or heart attack and then treat things. We'd rather see oh, your cholesterol is a little bit high, let's try to lower that. And um, if it's still high with lifestyle modification, we can try a little bit more medications and different things. You will work with your doctor to find the best medication and dosage for your individual needs. And remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. So by understanding how hyperlipidemia works and taking proactive steps to manage it, you can live a healthier and happier life. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.